Hi, Chris again, and in this video, what I want to talk about is this. Okay, so see up here? Those, ah, it's, it's unfocusing. Darn it, sticking my finger there unfocuses it. Okay, see those two plugs? Those two guys there? Okay, so until fairly recently, the most common thing to see was one of those. Now it's getting fairly common to get two of them. I, I, it's still on kind of upper level boards, but it's kind of starting to trickle down. Um, so I'm guessing there's a lot of people out there wondering, do you need to plug in both of them? And on this video, I wanted to explain that you don't need to plug in both of them in most cases. So as you saw with this build, this is a dual 980, uh, T, uh, not TI, uh, dual 980 classified kingpins, older power hungry cards. Um, I would recommend on a build like mine, where I'm where I'm filling the build with stuff that you that you provide your setup with all the power that you can. However, most people aren't doing something like this. Most people are doing builds where they've got one mid to upper mid range GPU. They're not overclocking because that's what that's what some of the extra power is for as well. Um, you're not overclocking. You're not really doing anything with it. You you just have your CPU, no overclock, one GPU, and and you're just using it day to day. You're not doing anything weird with it. For those of you that that's that that's the case, you can absolutely run it off of one A pin. No problem. Don't even worry about it. Um, and and that's that's a good thing because you don't want to have to start buying power supplies that always have two uh, A pins. I think I think typically like high end seven fifty and up is where you really see that. You're not going to see two A pins on like a six fifty. I don't think you're even going to see it on most 750s. I think you're talking like like 850 to 1000, like that's when you really start seeing that. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys find this information useful and interesting and thanks for watching.